Hey guys and girls, uh, welcome to your sixth example video. Um, today we're going to be talking about something called random. And random is really useful sometimes, uh, many times actually, especially in games and stuff like that, when you want a random number. But uh, just keep in mind that the random in computers is not truly random. It's a long algorithm, a long uh, algorithm that someone has written uh, that, that helps us get a random digit from a seed. And you'll get that. You'll get that eventually. You don't have to think a lot about that. But we can just get started. We need to include a library called ctime into our big box of books. And uh, so we can use the time function. Because the seed we're going to give it, the randomness depends on the seed you give it. And the time, since it's changing all the time, will be, and it's different all the time, will be different. So you get a new number all the time, right? So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. So let's initialize that. Today's video isn't going to be that long because there's isn't a lot to explain here. Um, don't worry about the exact what I'm doing here. We give it a seed. We give it. We're giving it a seed. We needed the time function. That's why we included the time. And srand is to initialize the randomness. And you just do that in the beginning of your program, and you're fine for the rest of the program. You don't have to do it all the time. Uh, so just once, somewhere in the top of the main or somewhere anywhere. Um, but yeah, I recommend doing it here. Uh, then we're going to make a simple program where the user rolls a dice. A user doesn't have to. Well, it's a dice between 1 to 6. And the result is recorded. And then we're going to use a switch statement today, which is like an if statement. Like the if and if else we made in the last video. And uh, what's going to happen is that it's a little more compact. It's a little different. It looks, it looks a little different. And it works for numbers. In Java, it works for strings as well. But here... Uh, just remember it's mostly for numbers. So let's start by making an integer. We're going to use integers for this random. So number. Let's give our dice six dots. And this is the result we're going to get after we roll it. So the result, since we initialized random now, we can use the rand function, use the modulus operator, and don't worry about this is this is the basic syntax this is the rule how you write it and the number you write after here which is 6 in our case you could have written 6 here as well but we since we have 6 stored in the variable we just since we can just change it easily uh we can use that variable here so what this is going to give you disregard this this is the important part the number here you give it it's going to be from 0 to the top of this number minus 1 so it's going to be from 0 to 5 since we have 6 here 0 to 5, since 0 counts as a number. If you want it to be 1 to 6, like a real dice, we can add 1 to it. So whatever number we get here from this, since this is higher priority, it's going to do this first, and then it's going to add 1 to it. Which means that we're going to have 0. If we get 0 from this, we're going to add 1 to it, which is going to give us 1. If we get 5, we're going to add 1 to it, which gives us 6. So that's really good to know. So now we have the result recorded. Now we're going to make a simple game here with a switch statement. I'm going to explain everything here. Let's say case is 1, we lose, case is 6. Since that's the top number, we're going to win and then default. I'm going to explain all of this. So what happens in a switch statement is you write switch, you give it the condition, you give it something that it's going to check. So in our case, it's going to be the result, sorry. It's going to be the result we get. Depending on the result, something's going to happen here. So we know result is going to be from 1 to 6. And in here you can't write variables. You need to make these sure these are constants. These are either 1s and 6 like this. These are constant literals. These aren't numbers that can change uh, or variables that can change. If we had a constant variable, we could have put it here. Um, but anyway, remember that. And if it's a 1, since we know it's going to go from 1 to 6, we can assume we're going to get a 1 sometime. And then we're going to just output broski you has lost uh, lost it. Okay, since that's a cooler way to write lost. Um, end line. Okay, so one you lose, six you win. Wind, wind. And anything in between one and six is just broski uh, what you doing. Okay, so that's completely bad, like we don't want that. So default means that if it's not a 1 or 6, it's going to do it. This is like the else we had. 
This is the else ifs and stuff. This is the else. And the good thing about a switch statement is since it finds one, it's just going to skip the rest. You know? Like the else ifs. So it's a good thing to know. And then we'll just... Whoops. That's by habit. I'm sorry. Uh, um, like that. Whoops. Okay. Okay. So that's our little program. Let's run that. Let's see what happens. If Broski wins or lost it. Oh, okay. What you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What you doing? Come on, guys. You can do better than this. See, it's random every time. Almost every time. Depending on which number. Let's see if we can win once. Yes! Yes, bros! Okay. All right. Well, we won. See? It goes from one to six. See if we can get a one here. See if we can get a one. Let's see if we can get a one. Come on. I won again. Yes. I won again. Bro, I want to lose once. Okay, last time. Yes, yes, now we did everything. Okay, you has lost it, bro. So there you go, this is random. And just to finalize the video, there's, like I said, if you don't have the one, you get zero to the top number minus one. If you have the plus one, you get one to that number. And there is another thing you can do. If, if we had written, say we had written 30 plus 1985, okay, this would be, since this could be a zero, this could be a zero, right? You have to think like this. This is higher priority. So if this this can be from zero to twenty nine, and if it's a zero, we'll plus we'll add one hundred one thousand nine hundred eighty five to it, which will give us a value of one nine eighty five. That will be our value, and this can be added to with uh, all of this, with all of this. So that's going to give us one nine eight five two. Uh, was it gonna one? No, two, fourteen. Two fourteen. Yeah, I got this example. Yes, I did get it off of that page. You can Google. But anyway, it's the thought that counts. Um, yeah. So this is good. This is a way to get a higher number to another higher number. So you can play around with all of this. And uh, yeah, you should be fine. This is how we had it. Okay, so thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, I hope this helped and you learned something. And uh, yeah, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.